Look, I love these colours. This looks great. Woo wee, the liquor store. <laughs> Up yours, pig. Oh, where are we going? Through the clo- oh! Oh my gosh! I don't know what I was expecting when I got on this ride, but it wasn't this. Whee! Greetings, friends, and welcome to this week's episode of Ian's VR Corner. This week, I'm taking a look at this week's big new PlayStation VR 2 release from Perp Games, Happy Funland VR. Whee! Now, I've had my eyes on Happy Funland VR for a while now, ever since seeing this trailer, which makes it kind of look a little bit like Five Nights at Freddy's meets Poppy Playtime. I love the kind of haunted fairground vibe and the weird, twisted, old-school Disney kind of visuals for some of the animations and stuff. But, and this is a very big but, and normally I like big buts. If I go to the options here, the options are very, very limited, and it seems like potentially there's no smooth turning, which is going to be a huge minus from me from the off. Why you would launch a VR game with no smooth turning at this point in the proceedings, I don't know. But hopefully maybe that'll change once or maybe there'll be more options in the game. I don't know. I've not played it yet. I'm just about to press the start button here. Let's do it. Yes. Well, looky here. These are some big old school TVs telling us all about the different areas of Funland. Stand or sit in the center of the compass rows, and I can use the triggers to move in the direction of the controller if I want. All the thumbsticks, which is way easier than... This is like old school move controller movements using the, using the triggers. Did, was this originally meant to be for the PlayStation VR and then they ported it to PlayStation VR 2? Anyway, it doesn't look like they're smooth turned, so that's not great for me. Thankfully, I can smooth turn my neck. I want to pick up objects. What the hell is this? Right hand toggle on off. Ah! Wanted able bodied person to assist in videotaping an abandoned theme park. Must have legs. Well, that's me out already. And be reliable and work cheap. Uh, not very reliable, but unfortunately I do have to work cheap. How? That's dangerous. Surely shooting sparks into children's eyes is not health and safety approved. Ow, my retina. Okay, let's uh, continue onwards. What is this box here? Oh. Ah. He's giving me a little ride. I do love a little ride. Woo! Off we go. Hey! Hey, dude! Hello? You hear me, Sure. Come on out here to the dock and we get started. Okay. Well, now, look at you. Yeah. You'll do just fine. <laughs> That's you said that in a very creepy way. Okay, thank you very much. It's on, got him on. Alright, got a signal. Video looks pretty dark though. You're probably gonna wanna have a flashlight. Yeah. There's one in my toolbox on that crate over there by the fence near my truck. Oh. Why don't you go over there and get it? Oh buddy, all the way back up. That is a nice MacBook you've got there, by the way. I had it on something similar. Flashlights just in the red toolbox right there. Okay, so there's no run. That should come in handy for you. <laughs> okay. I love this game now. <laughs> oh, oh. Shit. Damn malfunctioning dildo. Strangely, that is not the first time I've had my hands on a dildo in a VR game. Zombieland well, VR. Thank you. See, I make online videos where I explore abandoned places and things. And oh, shit. Urban exploration. Urbex. Boom. Damn gator chop off both my legs. Oh, yeah, that'll... that'll... Oh, yeah. You I don't even have any legs. Hell. Like, I've got I nothing, not even a torso. So, come on, hop on the boat, we can get started. Just drop your, your drink in the water there. Sorry. 
So this here doc was Rich asshole magazine. It's got a sense of humour that I find agreeable this game so far. It's a fairly detailed environment at the moment. Lots of foliage and things. It's quite a nice introduction to the game. Hey, is that a gator on the side? That's not the one that took my legs too far. That's another one. I mean, at the moment, this is nothing more than a virtual theme park ride. Just over here. There it is. Your entryway to the fun park. But hopefully, we'll get a little bit more freedom now. You should consider the fun you'll have here as part of your compensation. One of the perks of the job, if you will. Okay, excellent. Are you stop talking? Hold on, now. Get to it. I ain't got all night. Okay, you, well, you certainly do have all night to... Sh shut up! Sh rat hole to crappy scumland. That's what I call my mouth. Last time I was out here, I saw a two-headed snake. What? Hello, this looks like some kind of it-style Easter egg. Oh, fuck, bloody... Oh, God. Bloody... Clicked and... Wait a minute. This guy is going to keep talking in my ear the entire time, which will make commentary annoying. But I just want to point out the fact that the water is flowing uphill here. Maybe that's because this is a spooky haunted place. Or maybe it's an oversight. But that's pretty sure that's not how water works. Whoa. Oh, there's a gator there. Can you find and destroy 80 of these injection molded Randy Rodent souvenirs? Well, I've destroyed one. Oh. Oh, you can. Squidge the the rats slightly, that's uncool. Oh mother oh. Jesus Mary, Joseph and Eileen, where did that come from? That's what I and said. My I probably would have been more scared I mean, if sure, I had true, the had the ability to smooth turn to around to see that instead of being discombobulated really slightly. So yeah, it's it's got some good creepy vibes to it. Oh yeah, I see a gator there. <laughs> Well, I beat him off, me and all. You beat Had him off, huh? Back to my boat. Creepy Had mannequins and, way, you know. and floating it, it balloons. Wait, is that mannequin following me? This is where I it I is. The control scheme's so weird. Like, I love the fact that it gives you free move. Like, the free movement, like with the thumbstick, perfect. But then to have click turn and no smooth turn. And not also have teleport to move is so bizarre to me. Like, why would you have one movement scheme that can cause motion sickness combined with one that reduces motion sickness but not have them both the other way around as well? Why can't I pick? Why can't I have smooth turn for everything or teleport and click for everything? But to mix them both up is a choice. And also the trigger button to move, that's also a I, must be, must be that this was planned for move the PlayStation 1 and they just didn't change the control scheme because that is such a bizarre thing to do with the PlayStation VR 2. Oh, can I play this? So uh, this is Ed, head of maintenance. Got a lot of people coming to me with questions all the time. Same questions. No over subtitles over. either, just in case you were wondering. Oh my god. A fuse puzzle? I've never played a video game with a fuse puzzle in it before. What about this one? Cleaning supplies. Oh, look, there's a rat. <laughs> there's a Randy rodent. I'll squeeze this rat as well. Make some poop come out of it. Rodent poison. Here you go. A fuse. Okay, that's in and power on. I didn't even have to grab that. I just like literally touched it and it moved down. So uh, interaction seems fairly limited. Oh. Okay. Really doesn't like that traffic cone, huh? There's one of them old timey photo booths over there too. Oh yeah. Maybe you can save your memories of tonight's little adventure in any one of them booths. Ah. A photo booth to save your progress, huh? Very cool. Do we get to see the photos come out of it, though? Doesn't look like it. All right, you're at the Happy Fun oh. Main Entrance. 
Hard to believe this is all still standing out here and all, huh? This is really going to help me out. Hey, it's Johnny Cabs. Oh, oh, how do I get that? Can I just Mostly reach in? And... Audio there you go. I guess they were very literally just touch things. All, oh, here's another one. Everyone in the bark and all. That was a tragedy part I told you about. So yeah, no, you just literally touch things and they activate. Oh hi. Looks like you're gonna need a ticket to get in. Poke around back at one of those ticket booths. Maybe you can buy ticket one there. Booth. So looking for a ticket. Ticket dispenser. Ticket dispenser. Oh, there we go, yeah. So do I have to grab this now? Right. Oh, yeah, you I can grab... So go some things you can grab, but not many. Hell, you know what I'm talking about, that thing with wires. Thank you. This ticket is valid. Will do, buddy. High five. So a couple of... Uh, All right, you're in. Mark Grizzly's happy fun land. <laughs> I never thought I'd see this. Hey, looks like there's a map over there. Go check it out. A couple of things to start with. Um, the constant voice over the radio is terrible. Like, it's really badly recorded. It just natters on nonsense. This would be a much scarier game if I was left without the narrator, if I was plonked here. Maybe that guy takes us here at the start of the game, gives us a little bit of exposition, and then we get plonked in. And, you know, we're left to kind of like fend our own way through. At the moment, he's hand-holding me and annoying me by talking a lot through quite garbled audio. But this is a nice, cool, spooky location to check out. A little bit of polish, a little bit of fine-tuning. I feel like this would be a scarier, more immersive experience. Like, ju just the fact that just touching things just pops them like, like that. How about maybe, I don't know, at the start of the game, we find um, a, like a spud gun machine and we pick up a spud gun and then we can use that to pop those things. All right, dude. I didn't you have to grab to pick that up. I just touched card. it. So it's, it's, it's the, the immersion is, is lacking and bloody hell, click turn. Bring up the park map using the square button. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> that is... That is a busy map. So I've got 5 out of 80 of those things. I've died at naught times. Does it show me where I am on here? I don't think it does. I presume I'm down here, but... The writing is incredibly small. And because I've got like a flashlight on my head, it's almost impossible to read. Well, it is impossible to read. Hole 1, part 2. Pull lever to dispense putter. So I didn't have to pull it again, I just had to touch it. Let's try a bit of uh, putting. Oh. Okay, that didn't count. There we go. One. Yeah, they got this oh, whole area close. all blurred out on the googly earth and all. Just looks like empty swamp land on there. Can't see any of all this what's here. So I guess they were Damn. originally going to call this place Grizzly Land. After Mort Grizzly and all, which would have been more appropriate after... Yeah. Whoa. Uh, not sure why they would have the doors tied into the mini golf, but whatever. Not, not sure either. Sky spitter. Nice. Well, shit. Looks like you're trapped in there now. Well, just keep it going and don't be scared and all. It'll just be like a walk in the park for you. Oh, does this mean he's going to be quiet finally? Haha. -ha. Clock ticking somewhere. Like I'm, I'm a big fan of the visuals and the the world building here in terms of like. What the fuck? Not the movement though. Why the trigger button to move? Where's my torch gone? Oh, it's Shiza. Is it in there somewhere? I've lost my, t I've lost my torch, in this pile of shit. Oh, can I get it out? Am I without a torch now? Hi. Ah, uh, dang it. Well, looks like you're trapped in the gift shop now. Yeah. Well, don't just stand around lying the gagging. Look around for a way to get those security gates open again. I don't want to be out here all night. No, I'd love my torch back there, buddy. You want to be able to 
come to a place like this with all these props and pick them up. You can't pick anything up. You try and pick stuff up and it it pushes away from your hand. But look, they've made all these lovely assets here. I desperately want to pick them up or, you know, I wanted to put a hat on then. I'm going to pick up a lot. Oh, I can pick up the lollipop. That's fine. But, you know, I want to have a look at the Happy Funland game. <laughs> That's not how t-shirts work. Whee! Maybe it's just like Meldrew has, has, has got it like that. There's some really bizarre choices been made here. Wait, can I just walk through that? Oh. <laughs> Everything's made of helium. Whee! Smashy, smashy! Oh, there's a... Oh, let's get that. I press that with my, with my golf club. I okay. Think you did it. Good seeing you ain't as incompetent as I first took you for. Oh, I Don't am. Don't worry, I'm sure. Oh, I am. Whoa, there he is. Mort Grizzly statue. I can see the resemblance. I mean, sure, he killed a lot of people with his products and all. Firearms, alcohol, tobacco, theme parks. But overall, not a bad looking man. I imagine he brought a lot of people a lot of happiness with this park. Well, except maybe the ones that died here and all, but you know what I'm saying. You know, there's a rumor he's cryogenically frozen here somewhere in the park. Honestly, like, you could have done that whole thing without the annoying voiceover. Just having, like, Mort Grizzly there, having a bit of a description there. Maybe even, like, a, a newspaper that you could pick up and read to just talk about how things again rather than having this annoying voiceover that plays the entire time plus it, it instead of it all being spoon fed to you it feel more like you're on a spooky journey of discovery in a creepy theme park the more grizzly story in 40 huh? that sound smell spikes uh, wonder what they mean by I can read that buddy hey what's that button on the wall there do well it starts the audio tour Look at all this fancy stuff. Take your time Two things all this talking stuff at the same time. Plus me. <laughs> this is not what fun. Creepy. Can I press anything down here? Oh, I've put 25 cents in. I'll be 25 cents richer. And you'll be 25 cents poorer. Exit the hell no. kind of fortune is that? Shh. You think that's the way he really Shh. thought? Shut up. That, without the... That was great. Because it's like a spooky fairground thing. You get to you see how miserly this guy is. You don't need the explainer from Captain Crokey as well. Rare photo of Mort Grizzly, age six. Look at this. This is this excellent world and character building without the need for the annoying voiceover. Nutty Mobile. Oh, it was gone. Where did it go? Scale modern blueprint for the Nutty Ride vehicle. I hope that wasn't expensive because it's vaporized along with my torch. Well, that's members of the Randy Rodent cult. That's creepy. That's creepy. Come round here, right? Have a bit of a musical sting play. <gasps> Fuck. What the fuck? Okay, so something's starting behind the door. How do I... So I can stick my head through and watch this cartoon. Whoa. That was... Oh my gosh, that's suggestive. Am I supposed to find a, a way to open that door? Fuck! Stop play... Wait. Oh, here we go. Look, it's up there. 
I've worked out the puzzle by myself in the end. Here we go. Christ. Four. Whoa. There's spikes on the ceiling. Okay, I need to find a way out through that door that doesn't involve phasing through it. Oh. There we go, there's a key. I got it. I got it. Okay, I mean, scruffy, but that was kind of cool, having to scramble through the cinema to find a way out. Oh, what was that? I feel like that was timed badly, that jump scare. I was walking across here, hearing the mousetraps go, and I was like, is there mousetraps below me? And the moment I looked down, a jump scare happened. All right, what have we got here? Is that gonna... Oh, the puppety machine. Beep, 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 beep. Ah, oh, it's dancing. Hey kids, play with Randy, the dancing rodent. Yay. Oh, I broke it. Professor Sprinkles Good Time Fun Porium. An ice cream barbershop quartet, huh? Can't seem to get behind the counter here. Man, I would pour a shitload of that ice cream down me. What's this? Holy fuck, we've got some actual enemies. Okay, kill, kill. Okay, combat seems fairly basic. I can just, like, whisk, whisk my way at these guys. Uh, I don't think they can come in here. Holy shit, dude, I there we go. Damn, a tummy tons are alive. Holy shit. It's nice that there's combat hey, in it, but it? it is fairly yeah. basic, like... Oh, no blocking. Oh, uh, this excitement out here has made me real hungry. First, I'm going back to the dock and go get me some food or something, because I'm really starving right now. I need to go get something to eat. But what to do? I'll come back out here again and scout out another way just, in or something, and hopefully just don't still bother. be alive just, and all. Just leave me, just to, leave me to enjoy right. the experience right. Good luck. by There's myself. A place I know of close by, so oh, for fuck's sake, I thought you were going! I guess i got to get a ball in the hole in order to open up the next way through. Whoa, mouse traps on the track. The ball physics is a little bit floaty as well, just like the rest of the the physics. There we go. That's on fire and the gates have opened. That's a cool view. Whoa, that's a creepy ass view. I really, I'm a big fan of the visuals of this game. There is a really good messed up theme park here. Fugly duckling, duck boat float. Oh, dead duck. Oh, there's more gators. Wait, is this doing anything? That's done something. Oh. ah! Ow, ow, what have I done? I've walked through the scenery again. Ah, oh, spoiled the fireworks. Oh, look! There's a princess. What? What the fuck is going on with that guy's head? Okay, we've got an ice cream man here. And a man made out of a, a pipe, I think. Kill, kill, kill. Stop phasing through objects. Honestly, the combat is so basic and floaty. So I guess we're, we're turning on levers either side, maybe, to... Oh, yeah, it looks like I need to turn one more lever on 
to illuminate the other end of the castle. Ah, finally, another torch. Zed had a maintenance. Making one of these tapes again. Uh huh. Got a lot of new eyes, a lot of new kids coming in here, dumb as shit. Dumb yep. box kids are dumb as shit. That's the thing about kids. Dumb as shit. Okay, so that's on. Fireworks. Ooh. Ah. Wishy washing. Washy washies. Kill, kill. Nice that this cigarette one is waiting his turn. I love the character designs. Just visually, this game is a, is a treat. It's so good. In terms of bringing out this weird, horrible, grimy, capitalist theme park. Based around, like, old school things like smoking and just general grossness. But the gameplay that ties it together is so wonky. Boop. Okay, let's head into the castle. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Fuck's sake. What the f- <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Hello. Cool. I liked that. Okay. Ooh, what was that? Whoa. Holy moly. That is white, the statue. Stinky. Drinky. Grifty. Drifty. And... Deadbeat. You bust be at least this tall to ride me. Oh my gosh! Madam. Oh, okay. If I just turn the ride off, I'll make it easier to get through if I have. There we go. Princess Venereal. <laughs> Excellent. Wait, oh, I haven't done that. I haven't done that mini golf yet. Princess Venereal. Oh! Here's the golf course scores if I click in the left thumbstick. I didn't know that was a thing. I was trying to run. Um, 4, 4, 2, 0, 0. So it looks like... So there are nine holes? So potentially this isn't a massive game. In that case. Oh, for fuck. Yas! Where does it come out, though? Oh, down here. Yeah! Fuck! Actually made me jump a little bit. Well done! Oh, look at that. That's cool. I love that. That's so good. The creepy grating noise, the skeleton going around, the bonfire. Whoever designed the look of this game and, uh, and, and the fairground. Cracking job. Hey, this is Ed, head of maintenance. Hey, Ed, head of maintenance. See, I don't mind these ones as much, because if I don't want to listen to them, I don't have to press play on them. It's the intrusive narrator that's thankfully fucked off for now. Feral Squirrel's Nutty Excursion. Sure. Oh, oh, okay. I'm on a nutty excursion, everyone. Normally I have a nutty excursion every night to get myself to sleep. Visually in here, I love the neon co- Sweet! I love the visuals, the neons, the kind of 
Yeah, real, it's got a great Ghost Train style vibe to it. Needs a bit more smoke. Look, I love these colours. This looks great. Woo wee, the liquor store. <laughs> Up yours, pig. Oh, where are we going? Through the clothes. Oh, we got enemies. Oh my gosh! Holy moly! Whoa! This. Good lord! Am I meant to be feeling aroused right now? Or scared? Or both? Yes! This is trippy as fuck! <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's a needle. Wow! Freeze, hippie! You're going down! Asylum for the criminally insane. I don't know what I was expecting when I got on this ride, but it wasn't this. <laughs> Stay off the really hard drugs, kids. From Mort Grizzly. That was indeed very nutty. And here I am, back outside. I'm ready to explore more of the theme park. Well, well, okay. I, I, I'm gonna have to chase a giant, monstrous rat into the toilets, aren't I? Oh, got him! Oh fuck! Oh, oh, oh! I can't do anything about this one. I'm just getting stabbed by nutty drug squirrel. Whoa! Okay. This is fairly messed up. Whoa! I don't know how people who are new to VR would be able to deal with this kind of visual shenaniganery, but it's pretty fucking cool. Whoa! It's like that being Far Cry 3. Where's Dr. Earnhardt? I am absolutely tripping balls. Oh, there's arms coming out of the walls. And I hear, what? On earth, which way do I need to go? Is this a choice? Oh, this way towards this thing. Ah! Horrible arms. Horrible hurting arms. What the fuck? Blah. I think that was Mort Grizzly frozen in ice. Oh, that was quite the trip, friends. Happy fun balloon. Oh, blow your own balloon. Oh my gosh, only 25 cents. So look, judging by the uh, golf games, I'm probably approaching halfway through at the moment. Um, hopefully this game is a little bit longer than two hours, but I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to spoil the rest of the experience for you if you're thinking of picking this up because um, there's some fairly cool stuff in here. Um, visually, I love it. There is some wonderful world building in terms of the design, the monsters, the like general spooky vibe. I mean, yeah, like I said earlier, whoever was in charge of the art design here and making this theme park um, especially with that, that crazy nutty squirrel ride and the drug sequence and things. Uh, it's fantastic, really good, really, really looks good through the PlayStation VR 2 headset. And um, just, yeah, like this fun park would be a joy to explore if it wasn't for a lot of the minor points, which, you know, include the narrator, who thankfully is gone for now at least. Uh, all that talking, very annoying. 
not necessary as far as I'm concerned. Interacting with everything is far, everything's far too light and twitchy. Like you can just you just literally tap things and they go flying. You can't really pick much stuff up. Um, just in general, interacting with the world feels clumsy. Of course, we've got the the no smooth turn or the no teleport. Like just the the mixed control scheme is is a, such a bizarre choice. Um, you know, there is the bones of, pun intended, an excellently spooky VR game here. It's just let down a bit by the, the by some very weird choices in terms of VR functionality. Um, but, yeah, I mean, despite the negatives I have with it, including the combat as well, the combat's a bit crap, like just doing that and at things that are running at you isn't really, you know, doesn't, does not a tense situation create. But, you know, ju I'd say just for the visuals and the spooky Funland vibe, I'd say this is probably worth picking up if you're um, into kind of crazy, spooky experiences. Be warned that it is not the smoothest of experiences. There is some frustration in the movements and the combat and things. And, you know, stuff like... Uh, where is it? Uh, 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 how do you even... Yeah, stuff like not being able to tell where the fuck you are on this map. I mean, are you even meant to be able to tell where you are on this map? I don't know. I'm, I'm up here, I think. So there's still danger land to explore and western land before the end. I'm a bit 50-50 on this one, friends. I really want to like it more than I do, but there are a fair few things stopping this from, like, just reaching the heights of being a, a pretty damn awesome uh, VR experience. Uh, you know, a little bit, just a, a little bit of thought into some of the interactions could improve, could have improved this immeasurably. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, oh. Okay, so... Definitely... This kind of thing will make newcomers to VR throw their guts up. Holy fuck. Woo! Wee! So, uh, I'm going to leave you with uh, those thoughts. Viewers, let me know if you're going to pick this up in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, do... Tune in next Sunday for more episodes of Ian's VR Corner. And uh, why not click on some of these other episodes of Ian's VR Corner that are on screen and clickable right now if you want to continue my journeys, following my journeys, in the world of VR. Oh, that was fun. Is there a bin I can spew in, though? Because, oh, God. Yeah, here there is. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. No, there's a wheelchair in the way. Oh, God. Blah.